I would like to quickly point out that John the Mouse video has a large selection of videos from North and South America for your viewing pleasure. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Now let's get into the cheese of the matter. This is the most powerful single chamber liquid fuel rocket engine that uses liquid oxygen and kerosene. This is an F1 rocket engine located at NASA Infinity Science Center in Mississippi. This rocket engine has 1,522,000 pounds of thrust. This rocket engine was first used in the Apollo missions that took the USA to the moon on December 21st, 1968. A cluster of five F-1 engines were mounted onto a Saturn V rocket. Can you believe they burned over 15 tons of liquid oxygen and kerosene per second? It took two and one half minutes of operation to take this vehicle to the height of 36 miles and to a speed about 6,000 miles per hour. As you can see, after the Apollo 8, they started using the F-1 with improved efficiency to help meet the increasing payload demands for later Apollo missions. That included putting the orbiting Skylab into space. That ended up falling back to Earth on July 11th, 1979. After the last Apollo 17 mission, the engine hasn't been on another rocket. The design has moved into the F-1A rocket engine. They have produced about 20% greater thrust than the F-1. 1,800,000 pounds of thrust is impressive for the time, but none have proceeded beyond the initial study phase. So we have no engines that ever pushed a rocket. So is the rocket dead and only listed in the history books? I'm here to tell you that there are people working on designs for the F-1B. This model is striving to be more cost effective and will be just as powerful as the F-1A. Maybe in the future we'll see this engine on another rocket in the future. I'm sure a few people will point out the fact that the Soviets produced one with more thrust than the F-1, the RD-170 engine is comprised of four thrust chambers, whereas the F-1 has only one, making it the most powerful single chambered engine of all time. John the Mouse Travel Map is available for Google Maps. It will help plan your route to the locations of your favorite videos. It is free to use. I have the link below. Please visit the Playlist tab for videos that I have sorted for you. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button.